Juan Enoch James was a member of Cross Movement, well, is a member of Cross Movement. Um, he passed away uh, due to heart failure and um, uh, Cross Movement was near and dear to me, not because like they're basically family, uh, but they're like my role models. I grew up watching them in and out the house and just grew up watching them um, just <laughs> literally like change lives and do ministry and preach the gospel in, in so many different avenues and so many different places. And um, Enoch was a, a major part of that core. And um, upon hearing about his death, I was definitely uh, uh, hurt, uh, but also encouraged because knowing that he, he, he finished well, you know, he definitely did a lot of work for the kingdom. And he had a song called Real. We basically talking about um, how he was unapologetically um, passionate about the gospel, you know, and how he just, he, he, at the end of the day, he was himself and he kept it real. You know, and that's one big part of my like my testimony and my mission statement is basically, you know, uh, I want to tell people that they can be who they are in Christ. You are an original individual and God has created you, you know, specifically for a purpose and plan. And you must follow that purpose and plan. And no one else has that purpose and plan because it's your purpose and plan for your life. And um, so when I heard the song Real, I mean... It, it, it resonated so well with me, I, I, I felt I had the, 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 the unction to, to, to revive that spirit and just like, you know, um, uh, redo it, you know, kind of remix it in, in that fashion. So I took a sample of a couple bars he spit, you know, it was like, it's, it's like cause and effect, how I got them all in the sweat. Excuse me for tooting my own horn, but I'm as raw as it gets. Oh, guess I'm not gospel because I'm bragging over beast. You want to see a humble dude peep me in the streets, you know, and it's basically like, okay. I, I resonate so much with that because um, when you're called to be someone who's the form of like a humble beast, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, you're you doing something in the aspect of battle rap and it's like, man, you got these crazy bars and people are like, oh man, like this dude is, this dude is all about himself or he's cocky. He's like, nah, man, if you really want to see what I'm about, you're not going to get it on stage or on the video. Like come, come do life with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's, that's, that's one thing he was saying in that song. And so when I wrote the song, uh, it's kind of like an R&B fashion and real smooth. Like I really wanted, I didn't want to make like a turn up song because um, I, I really just wanted people like to really vibe with the message, you know what I'm saying? Just like um, being who you are and keeping it real, you know? And um, that's one thing I really honored, uh, wanted to honor within Enoch's life is that he really did that. And um, so uh, it's kind of like a, not a, a, a memorial song, but like a celebration song. It's really for anybody who has left, lost a loved one who was inspired, so. Yeah, that's on a Slow and Steady project. The song's called Real. Most impactful cross move record. It might have to, it's either between Heaven's Mentality or Human Emergency. It might be between those two. Why? So, for me, a lot of times projects aren't uh, my favorites because of the uh, amount of classic ability that everyone else thinks or something like that, or whether or not it's um, some of the best music ever to be put out, but what it means to me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for example, Trip Lee's If They Only Knew, I don't think that's one of his greatest projects, but that's one of my favorite projects because to be an unashamed young person in high school, it resonated so well to me. So. In heaven's mentality, like in the in the uh, in the human emergency phase, like I was literally like a child, and I was like you know saying backstage seeing all these things happen, and then talking about because you can you can hear snippets of 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 their conversations like and you would hear these on the on the album, you know what I'm saying in in between the in between the um the, the tracks, and I remember as a child seeing those conversations happen about theology, about ministry. And I would, I would, I would, I mean, of course, as a, as a youngin, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't understand it as a jit, you know what I'm saying? Because like, it was, it was stuff that was like meat and weighty. But looking back on that, I'm like, man, I, I, I go back to those albums occasionally, I'm like, man, they were on to something, man. And like the, 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 the foundations of Christian hip hop are so rich, man. And so hearing, hearing projects like Heaven's Mentality and hearing projects like Human Emergency, um, they really did want to capture not only a theological ground, but they were literally countercultural. And like you can hear the styles clash between, okay, this was what was out then, and this is what we're gonna put out. 
And then not only is the content going to override what you're saying, but the 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 the, the bars, man, they had them. Like they had they had they had the bars, they had the lyrics, they had the metaphors, and it's just like, man, like collectively, man, Cross Moon was was one of the greatest groups ever, man.